it's kind of sickening when you think about it. When Elizabeth Belding Rowe and her husband Galen Rowe made arrangements to donate their bodies to science a few years ago, they could never have imagined how it would end. You have the love of your life, you know, somebody that you've, you know, you've given your life to and, and they're, they're, the, the, they're your best friend, you know, and they're the most important person to you and they're being treated like this. Her husband passed away from a heart attack in February and staff at the Fredericton Hospital told his family the donation to Dalhousie University's medical school was made. Instead, the body was forgotten, left in the hospital's morgue. His widow had no idea until she spoke with the coroner nine days later. He said, I have some very sad news for you. And he said, your husband is in the morgue. He said, the pathologist called me and um, he didn't go to Dalhousie like he was supposed to. Out of the more than 1,000 Canadians who donate their bodies to universities every year, most go as planned. The problem, though, according to this estate planning lawyer, is situations like this one feed into concerns that she's hearing around donating. It's hard for people to navigate their way through those systems anyway, but when it's something that's really emotionally laden, like this kind of thing, it adds a kind of urgency, a kind of stress. You know, the people just don't want to deal with that. It wasn't until Go Public asked the hospital what happened that it became clear why the body was left in the morgue. A hospital staff member called the wrong number, notifying the organ transplant program instead of the body donation one. Staff in the emergency department thought they had called the right, the right number, but in fact they hadn't, and because they hadn't, it never started the process for the donation to Dalhousie. That explanation offers no comfort for Rose Widow, who says other hospital staff members clearly knew her husband's wishes. The health authority tells us it plans to update its reference material for staff to clarify who to call and when. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.